Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So coming at you today with my brand new camera and I'm hoping that the quality is gonna be good and this is gonna look really good. Um, so I thought I would do a little bit of a trial run with something simple and I've been seeing a tag go around on YouTube that I thought was kind of interesting um, and it's called the perfect subscriber tag. I'm not 100% sure who originally came up with this. I'll find it and put it in the description box below. But the ones that I watched that I really enjoyed were um, Raw Beauty Christy and and uh, Jessica Braun at Jam Beauty 89 so I'll link those videos below as well but I thought it was a fun little tag going around there's been some good tags going around lately um, there was the uh, answering assumptions about me tag there was a bunch of different ones that I thought were kind of cool but this was one I felt like I could actually participate in um, so there's 13 questions so I'm just gonna go through the questions um, just talks about what type of a subscriber you are and sort of your YouTube habits. I thought it was kind of interesting. It's nice to see like what other people are like on YouTube because I know I spend a lot of time <laughs> on the YouTube. So let's dive into the questions. So the first question is, do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel or video or do you try a few videos first? Um, it depends. For me, it depends. Um, there are some that I have subscribed right away. So um, when I found like Samantha Ravindal, when I found Raw Beauty Christie, um, uh, Tati, I subscribed to right away. Like there are some that like immediately I connected to the personality, I connected to the type of content that they were putting out there and I just really enjoy them. Um, and then there are other YouTubers where I've watched them for a while, I wasn't really sure, I didn't know if I liked them, uh, didn't know if I connected to the personality, um, that sort of thing. So for me it's been sort of a mix, but for the most part if I watch a couple of videos and I really like them, I will subscribe because I, I don't want to miss anything. Um, the next question is, does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe? So I feel like that's something that we all feel like we have to say in videos, like make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell, do the things. And no, obviously I'm not like, oh, I should subscribe because they told me to subscribe. But I spend a lot of time on YouTube. So I know that I wanna subscribe if I really enjoy somebody's content. I don't need to be told, but I have had people that I know since I started my YouTube channel, like clients of mine that are like, what does subscribe mean? <laughs> because I'll say in the video, you know, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And they don't even know what it means because they're not people that spend a lot of time watching videos on the internet. So I think it sort of has its place. It doesn't really affect me personally, but I know some people that it has kind of swayed their decision, if that makes sense. So question number three is, how many channels do you have the notification bell turned on for? None, absolutely, I don't have any turned on. And the reason is, I'm on YouTube all the time. I probably watch more YouTube than I do regular television. So I don't ring the bell because I don't need to. I'm on there every day, literally checking like my subscriptions to see who has put out a new video since I was on YouTube last. So I don't ring the bell, that's why. Uh, number four, do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only your favorites? <sighs> well, I have a scary watch list. Let's start there. So for a long period of time, I didn't have as many people that I was subscribed to. So I would watch every single video that showed up on my feed as like a new uploaded video. And then as I've sort of built up, um, you know, a collection of people that I subscribe to. Um, now there's sort of a thing where I can only watch so many reviews of the Anastasia Riviera palette. Do you know what I mean? Um, so now I'm sort of in a position where I follow a lot of beauty YouTubers. Obviously that's what I'm interested in. Um, so I can only watch so many videos about the same thing. Now there are people that I will watch no matter what they put out. So no, I don't watch every single video that shows up in my 
subscription feed. I watch any uh, any and all that are interesting to me, I throw into my watch later list and then I, I put that on when I'm like farting around the house, I'm cleaning, I'm meal prepping, doing that sort of thing. So I don't watch them all, but I do have YouTubers that I watch all of their videos. Uh, question number five, how many channels do you never miss an upload for no matter how busy you are? <laughs> So sort of tying into the last question, I would say there's like three to five YouTubers that I never miss, I never miss an upload. Um, Tati, for example, she uploads Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I'm like, where's my Tati video? I'm ready, where is it? Um, so I'm waiting for it. Um, Shane Dawson is another one. He used to post every day, now it's like he does these little mini series and I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the next one to come out. I can't wait. I'm like watching on Instagram for him to post that he's uploaded something. Um, so there are definitely ones that I'm like anxiously awaiting for. Question number six, what kind of a commenter are you? I am a nice commenter. I try to, I, I've never left like a rude comment on anyone's video ever. Um, I comment either when it's, if it's a small YouTuber, somebody like myself that doesn't have a lot of subscribers, I comment every time. Just because I know how much that means to me when people comment on my videos. You know, when you only have, say, like I have 500 and some odd subscribers. When you only have 500 and some subscribers and you upload a video and nobody comments, it's kind of a bummer. Like, you know if people have watched, you can see that people are watching it, but you really are like hoping for those interactions. And I love to like, have little conversations in the comments feeds. So if it's a small YouTuber, I, I comment every time. If it's a larger YouTuber, um, they don't really need my help. They have millions of subscribers and millions of comments, but if they sort of ask a question in the video, like what do you guys think about this? Or um, they talk about a product that I love, then I might comment like, oh my gosh, I love that too, or something like that. But it's always, always, always positive. Um, number seven, do you skip ads or watch? I skip them. If I'm actively watching YouTube, like if I'm sitting down with my tablet or my computer or my phone in front of me and watching a video, I skip the ads. If I have it on sort of as background noise, particularly if I have like a podcast on or something like that, um, and I'm meal prepping or I'm cleaning or I'm playing with the dog or I'm doing something outside of just sitting and watching, I'm, I'm not gonna run across the room to hit skip ad, um, so I will sometimes let them play through, but if I am actively watching, I skip them. Who sits and watches the ads? Um, number eight, do you speed up videos? I didn't even know that that was a feature until I saw this tag go around, so no, I don't speed anything up. Um, I do sometimes like skip ahead, like if it's, Say, um, for example, like a beauty YouTuber is doing a bunch of reviews in one video and they're talking about a product I've either already seen reviewed, I've already seen them review, something like that. I will like maybe skip ahead 10 or 20 seconds or something like that, but I don't like speed up through the whole video. Um, number nine, do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? Never, I have never. Um, I generally, Here's the thing, I don't generally order products off of like the company's website, if that makes sense. If I'm gonna order a product, I'm gonna order it with my next Sephora order or my next, you know, next time I go into Sephora, I'm gonna, I'm gonna order it or next time I go into the beauty boutique, I'm gonna pick that up. Um, I generally don't, I don't think I've ever ordered directly from like a makeup company or something like that, just using makeup as an example, like Morphe, for example. I've never ordered off of their website. If I was going to, yeah, I would use an affiliate link or a code or something like that, but it's just never been a situation that I've come across. I generally like to use, um, like if I can buy it at, I live in Canada, in case nobody knew that yet. I live in Canada, and so we don't have Ulta, we have Sephora and we have Shoppers Drug Mart Beauty Boutique where we can get some of the high-end brands. So I like, if I can, to get my products at Shoppers because of the points. Um, and same at Sephora, like you can get samples and you, you know, you accumulate points and all this sort of stuff. So that's generally how I buy my products. Question number 10, what's your preference when it comes to video length? What's your sweet spot? You know, for me, that really 
depends. It depends on how much time I have to sit down and watch. It depends on if I'm sitting down to watch or if I'm doing other things while I've got YouTube playing in the background. Um, if I'm sitting down to watch and really watch something, I think 15 to 20 minutes is my sweet spot. Over 20 minutes, like when you get into like a half an hour, like I've watched some like declutter videos, for example, that are like 38 minutes long. And while I enjoy those, that's a 40 minute commitment <laughs> that I'm sitting down and I'm watching YouTube for 40 minutes. And the reality is I probably am anyways. If I have two 20 minute videos, I would have no issue sitting down to watch two 20 minute videos versus like a 38 minute video. I have a harder time with that for some reason. Um, a lot of people say like, oh, I hate when videos are only five minutes. I love a little five minute video. If I'm just like, if I've only got five or 10 minutes to kill, I, I kind of will scroll through my watch list and look for like a shorter video video. Um, so in that sense, I don't really have a sweet spot. It really depends on what I'm doing. Let me know in the comments below what your preference is, because I struggle with that. Sometimes I'm like, is this video too long? Is it not long enough? I know I have some subscribers that are like, yes, a long video. I've got my popcorn. I'm ready to go. And then I have some that are like, oh, that was long. So I didn't watch it or it took me two sittings to watch it or something like that. Um, question number 11, do you thumbs up most videos? Um, again, that sort of comes back to, I guess I have like a mental thing where like with smaller YouTubers, I really feel like I want to support them. I want to give them my help. I want to, you know, I want to interact because I know what that means to me. Um, so if I have like one of my friends posts a YouTube video, I'll definitely like that. If it's a smaller YouTuber, I'll definitely like that. If I liked it, obviously, I'm not gonna thumbs it up if I was like, that video sucked. But generally, that's sort of the way I do it. And then with the larger YouTubers that I watch, because I watch a lot of the bigger ones as well. Don't, I'm not saying that I only watch smaller YouTubers. No, I mostly watch um, bigger YouTubers. Um, then I will thumbs up a video when I either like laughed out loud, it made me feel some feelings or something like that. You know what I mean? Like I was watching, so for example, I was watching Tati's no mirror makeup challenge that she did with her sister. Um, I think she posted it Friday. I watched it yesterday and I laughed out loud. I thought that was so good. And so I thumbsed it up. Um, Selena Ryden posted a video yesterday and it was all about like changing your mindset into a more positive um, thought process. And it really resonated with me. It really made me think I thumbs that video up. Um, so that's sort of how I operate. It's whether it sparked some kind of emotion in me, that's when I'll actually hit that thumbs up button. Question number 12, do you ever thumbs down a video? No, I don't. I absolutely don't. I am a very positive subscriber in that sense. If I don't like a video, I will click off and watch something else. I'm not going to sit there and thumbs the video down and like troll them in the comments. It's just not who I am. And like, the thing is, if you're going to put yourself out there like this, if you're going to put yourself out there on the internet, you have to be okay that you're going to get hate comments. You're going to get thumbs downs on your videos. All that to say, when I get a thumbs down on a video, it still bothers me. Like deep down, there's a part of me that's like, what did I do wrong? Why didn't they like me? <laughs> you know, what was it about that video that they didn't like? So no, I don't thumbs down. I just click off to something else. That's not to say that if you're somebody who thumbs down videos that you're wrong because I mean, it's there for a reason. Obviously it's meant to be used and from a creator standpoint, interaction is interaction. Whether you thumbs up my video or thumbs down my video, it really only helps my channel. <laughs> the last question is, do you ever share other YouTubers' videos on your social media? I'm sure that I have. Um, I definitely have from time to time, but I'm not a big sharer on social media. So I post a lot on social media because of the business. I'm doing this because there's a sign behind me <laughs> because of my business. Like I'm always posting nail pictures. I post a lot of like makeup of the day pictures. I post my YouTube videos. Um, I post like salon kind of like memes and stuff like that. Like I'm posting, you know, one to two to five times a day. 
so when it comes to like sharing things like I have like people that share like recipes and you know every funny video that they see on the internet it's it just becomes like I don't want to be that person that's like cluttering up somebody's news feed. So I'm very cautious about what I share. Um, so it's just one of those things that I guess it's something I could be doing, but I'm not. So yeah, I don't know. I'm sure that I have though. I'm sure there's been ones that I'm like, oh my gosh, I died laughing. Everybody has to watch this or this person said something really significant. Everyone should watch this. I'm sure I have, but it's not something I do on the regular for sure. So that's it for the questions. I just thought it was kind of interesting to, like maybe maybe more interesting for me than for you guys, but I thought it was kind of interesting to sort of introspectively look at what I'm doing versus what I expect other people to do for me. So I just think it was kind of an interesting concept. Let me know in the comments below if you feel like you wanna answer any of those questions. I'd love to know some of your answers or how you would answer differently than me. Um, I am going to tag my friend Cheyenne at Liquid Chrome Nails. I'd love to see her do this video. I think it's a really fun idea. So let me know in the comments below what you thought. Hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Like you can't not, how else do you do an outro for a YouTube video? I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.